Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, all right. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to a brand new episode of the Geeks and Flicks Live. Where this wow, it's been a while since we did this, and it's been great. So I'm your host, Alex Figueroa. If you guys are new here, what's up? How you doing? And this is my co-host, Nate from Nate Flicks Reviews. Wow, it's been a while. Thank you so much, everybody. I don't know. I thought we were gonna have like two people here, but we have a a, 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 lot, a good a good amount of people all here today. All the homies today. are here. Yeah, yeah, all the homies are here. All our homies. We got Ralph. We got Jay. We got Triboro. Oh man, we got Nate. We got Robert. We got Jay. We got. I mean, we got even Harrison, Evan. Evan. Again, if you guys are trickling in a little bit with us, um, you can hit the subscribe button if you're new here, and of course hit the like button if you enjoy what you see here. Now today we have a great show today um we're every other week for those of you out there that are new we do every other sunday we're not one of those that we do every week okay we do every other week um but yeah we we like that format because it's easier for us and once we come back we have fun with an hour and then we come back another uh we, we just have fun so today's episode we have some channel updates we're going to talk about in a few seconds okay um we're going to do some of that we're going to do some blockbuster right talk about some blockbuster hits that are coming out this weekend uh that came out last week we could talk about that we're going to do some uh monkey man review some new movies i got to see monkey man when it first came out we, i never got the review so i get to do it today so it's gonna be fun we're gonna talk some monkey man here today um and and nate is gonna talk about some of the movies that he couldn't review but he's gonna review it live today so we're gonna do some some of that stuff stephanie's in the house um, we're going to have stash it or trash it. We're going to look at some movies that oh. are coming out Tuesday and you know, I'm going to pull wait. out some stuff Last and we're going to see funny. what works. Yeah. You play some, you pick some kind of wackadoo movies. I ain't, I ain't even <laughs> ever heard of. Those I got some more wackadoo to do for you, my friend. <laughs> so we're going to have fun tonight. Like I said, we got one hour, one hour show here. We're going to have fun. You, me, Nate here for the next 60 minutes. So let's start it all off with the channel update. Okay. What's new for 2024 going forward in the Geeks and Flicks channel? Well, I got to say, Nate, mm -hmm. we are spicing things up here a bit, okay? Ooh. So, on the channel, if you notice, I'm starting to do my DC live movie, uh, a, a live action movie reviews now, right? I'm going to the second part, which is the Batman 1966. So, if you guys have not checked that out, check it out. It's only uh, like an eight-minute review or something like that, but... It's been fun. And you know, it's funny. I started watching the TV series. <laughs> I started hey, watching the, the, the Adam West. I don't know why, but I started watching that. But yeah, so I did the 19, 1951 Superman in the moment, right? We did some 1966 The Batman, the first featured film with Adam West and Burt Ward, right? And we're going to go up all the way to 2024 and then, of course, beyond. So once the newer movies come in, I'll do a review on it, and then it's going to add it right into the DC Retro Rewind uh, playlist. All the DC stuff will be under that, the live action stuff. Now, a question. The, yes. A question for you. Yeah. How many DC live action movies are there? Well, you know what? It's a good thing you act there, my little buddy, because I'm going to show you guys the schedule that I'm going to go. So if you guys want to follow along, you guys could, after after we go live or whatever, you guys could take a photo of this and have it there for reference. So every, each week I do a review, you guys can follow along. Watch along. So here we go. First things first is the first one that I did was Superman in the Moment, 1951. We got Batman the Movie, which is already out, 1966. This week I'm doing Superman the Movie, 1978 with Christopher Reeves. Now, I'm going to say this right now. There is three versions of this movie. There is the three-hour cut, which I am not going to watch in, in review, but I will reference it during the review. Um, there's the, I believe there's another version, the Richard Donner. Auto, auto, I know the second one has the Richard Donner cut. I don't know if there's one for the first one, but I'm just doing the rec regular theatrical cut of Superman on 4K. That's the one that I'm doing. Superman 2, the same thing. I am just doing the, the theatrical cut. I am not doing the, the special edition of that. Um, anyway, then comes that Swamp Thing 1982. I already purchased the 4K on them, so I already have that movie down and ready to go. Superman 319. Are you watch the R-rated version or the regular one of that? Oh, I'm going R-rated. We're going R-rated. R-rated version has, like, boobies in it. I know then that. Then we're going to see some titties. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we're going to see Swamp Thing. Other than that, yeah. All right, so then we're doing that. Um, I'm going to be doing Supergirl. 1984, Superman for the Quest for Peace, 1987, then the return of Swamp Thing, okay? Now, 
so you guys can check that out. Like I said, take a photo of this. The next list up is <clears throat> Batman 1989, Batman Returns 1992, Batman Forever 1995, Batman and Robin 97, Steel. I have to pick up and find out if they have a Blu-ray version or a DVD, and I'll purchase those. Catwoman, the same situation. Constantine, I know there's a Blu-ray out. Um, I already have it. Um, Batman Begins, Superman Returns. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This is a pretty lengthy one, Nate. Um, the Dark Knight, Watchmen, Jonah Hicks, Green Lantern, The Dark Knight Returns, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman. Now, that version, I will be doing the ultimate cut of that film. Suicide Squad, and then, of course, Wonder Woman. Uh, do do do. Then we have Justice League, the Josh Whedon cut. I am going to watch it to give my my thoughts on that version of the film. Then, of course, Aquaman, Shazam, Joker, Birds of Prey, which is the Harley Quinn movie, uh, Wonder Woman 1984, The Suicide Squad, The Batman, Black Adam, and then, of course, last but not least, is <clears throat> Shazam, Fury of the Gods, The Flash, Blue Beetle, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, and then The Joker. Now... I know a lot of people are going to start asking me, Alex, how come Justice League Zack Snyder Cut is not there? Because technically, the Josh Whedon one, I guess DC put it as it's already out, the, the Josh Whedon, as Zack Snyder. So I am going to do the Zack Snyder Cut as a separate film, which will go on the week of, I'll figure it out. Maybe before The Flash, I'll drop it in. Um, oh, I see the year it come out, then I'll do that. So it's 42 films. Right now, I'm going to be doing reviews for. Now, with that said, there are other properties that are DC that is not on the list. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, how about, you know, V for Vendetta, Stardust, The Losers, the losers you know, The Kitchen. Um, those movies will be separate reviews. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all the DC ones as I could, but as separate. Like Vertigo, those are DC imprints. I'm going to do that. As a set list. Um, same thing with History of the Violence. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Red and Red 2. That is all combined together in one. Um, so that's that's the way it's going to go. So if guys, again, if you guys want to join in on the fun, I gave you the list of all the movies that I'm doing. You guys could check it out for yourselves. You can watch it digitally. If you have it in your collection, check it out. Then when my review come out, bam, you could uh, well, join in on the fun. had a good point. He said you should post the, the to the community section on YouTube. That's a good idea, just so people can follow along as well if you want to do that. But so 40 week, 41 weeks. 42 so, weeks. 42 weeks. Yeah. You should probably, by the time you're done, I, no DC new movie should be out yet. So, um, because I don't think the new Superman comes out within 42 weeks because it's a little less than a year. Well, Superman either. comes out 2025. Exactly. So there's still, but we're what, 12 weeks in? Uh, wait, wait, four, eight, 12. We're about eight, uh, 14 weeks into this year. So 30, you're not going to, yeah, it'll, it'll, you'll finish this before that comes out. Yeah. So that's much. what I was kind of, or the Joker. Was it that Joker, La Flux of the, the Dukes? The, 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 that'll come out <laughs> while you're doing this. Yeah. For yeah sure. October. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. yeah so uh, that movie will be the last one. And then, of course, Superman will come out. Uh, Tribro says you some of these done? should be trash reviews, uh, Alex. You know, be surprised. I don't know. These some of them are gonna be first time watches, like Steel. Um, but I know for a fact Steel is garbage. Supergirl, garbage. Yeah. Um, Superman Four. We already re we already reviewed that one. Well, podcast. so some of them we already reviewed on the Action Movie Guys podcast, which again I will I'll re refer yeah, to that. I'm gonna listen to it again to see what I gave that one, and then see if it changes on the reviews, but. Again, some of them we already did, some we didn't do. Like, I never gave a review for Return Blue Beetles. And, huh? <laughs> Return of Swamp Thing. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, like Swamp Thing and Swamp Thing or Return of Swamp. So those are going to be fun, like I said. Now, in terms of Action Movie Guys podcast, we can talk about that right now. We're up to a new month, and we're up to Mel Gibson month. So these are the release dates for the Mel Gibson films that we're, me and Nate are going to be doing. Some of them are going to be with special guests. Um, we're up to the bird on the wire, so me and Nate is going to be re recording that one this week. Uh, the Patriot comes out on on Tuesday. I'm sorry. That comes out on Tuesday, The Patriot. We had a blast reviewing that one. Um, and then after that, bird on the wire, uh, payback, and then, of course, conspiracy theory. Um, so that's going to be actually really fun. 
for this month. So this month is Mel Big Gibson month. Um, and of course, last but not uh, the least, what is new coming out on the channel? And that's that's the big question. Well, we're gonna be doing reviews again. Now we're gonna be doing buyers guides. It's not reviews. Reviews is totally different. We're gonna do buyers guides. So, and I'm going to be reviewing the TV show box set of the Batman. So I'm gonna give a we're gonna do a breakdown of the entire collection of Batman 1966 TV series complete set numbered. Um, I'm gonna get, watch some of them on the Blu-ray and give my actual thoughts. And I'm gonna put on screen, of course, to compare and contrast between DVDs and all that. So watch out for that. Should be coming out this week or next week. But it's gonna be a full in depth. We're gonna be doing more buyers guides on the channel on a lot of selective numbered sets it's not gonna be all 4ks and all blu-rays and all dvd like it's gonna be the the the, the ones that uh people matter for and care for but yeah other than that's pretty much it nate what what yeah. is up with you um yeah we also got um we're gonna continue obviously out of the theater reviews every single week um in an effort to really i mean this week i saw two movies but we saved my other review for this show but in an effort to really pump them out and get content out to you guys. Um, there will be some weeks where I'm going to be doing two out of the theater reviews. So now with Alex taking the Wednesday videos, I'm moving to straight up new release theater reviews only, which I'm going to be honest with you guys. I enjoy reviewing older movies. I love doing them on the podcast, uh, to be honest. But when I got my start in doing YouTube and pot, new releases is what I always, uh, you know, reviewed. Um, my old podcast was literally, we would watch everything that came out new in theaters, not, not streaming so much, but so I'm actually excited to be reviewing like everything I see. Cause mostly I review, I pick one movie. I try to be like, what's the biggest one. Let me get that one. Um, so now to be able to maybe do some shine a light on something that's maybe a little smaller that came out in theaters. So like this week I'll have, uh, two reviews. I'll be doing, um, Abigail, which is that new vampire movie. Um, and then I will be doing the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. It got a horrible name, but it's that new Guy Ritchie movie with Henry Cavill. It looks awesome. Oh, yeah. It looks pretty good. Yeah. 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 So I'll be having both of those. But anytime I see a movie in the theater, we will have an out of the theater review. So I'm excited for that. Um, and also in um, Tribro says May Movie Madness, maybe. Oh, they're talking about tri oh trivia. You know what? Now that we have every two weeks and we have time, we may, we might. Might bring trivia back. We might bring a trivia tournament because those are fun <laughs> for us to get you guys on here and, and ask questions. So, yes, uh, actually, Triborough and Jimmy, um, trivia may be a thing. Me and Alex talked. We do want to do some panels. So we want to have some of you guys come on and do panels with us. Maybe we'll say top five 80s movies, and we'll just do a roundtable discussion. Now, it's not going to be like seven people, maybe four. And we'll have roundtable, so you guys will be on. I know Tribro is going to be on with us in the future um, to do some more soundtrack music stuff because we do want to like do other stuff movie related. So we got a lot of ideas. Um, the thing with me and Alex is we are idea guys, and then we just gotta deliver. We have more ideas than we have time to make <laughs> all the ideas. Yeah. Uh, but we will be having panels. So if we reach out to you and if you want to join us, you know, hopefully you do. Um, and if I want to say one of the – oh, I want to give a shout-out to Tony, Tony Movie Chappie. He's our latest Patreon member. He's yeah. a part of the Geeks and Flicks uh, Patreon group. So, Tony, thank you for joining. Thank you for su support. He's always here. He's a supportive guy. He's always here every show, and he joined at the top tier. So if you're not already, it does help us. You know, like I said, we do a, a lot of content and film a lot of stuff. So if you want to join the Patreon, it does help. We'll add you to the group. We have a separate group chat where we talk crap all day. Tony's been in there giving his movie talk, so he knows. He could tell you. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, I just want to give him a shout-out as well, and that's all I got. All right, so you know what? It's time to get on with the show. Let's, Let's start it off with some box office blitz. <clears throat> all right, so this week... Some movies came out, all right? I mean, I, trust me, I already got the numbers for you guys. Because you're like, Alex, I want to see the numbers. Well, I got the numbers for you guys to watch and follow along with Big Papa Al. So, Civil War is the big movie this week, right? If, if, you, if you guys check that out, Civil War was out. And 
we're gonna take a look i mean i'm literally on the on the screen there we go i'm like why am i so up there all right here we go so silver war was out first right godzilla came out then ghostbusters but let's give out the numbers dune part two 4.3 million kung fu panda far four 5.5 million dollars ghostbuster frozen empire i'm kind of shocked that it still made 5.8 million dollars it is still going up okay which i'm happy because it still needs you know it still need help but anyway godzilla versus khan the new empire 15.5 million dollars and of course the newest movie by a24 called silver war slash the division because it looks like a division ubisoft the division i mean they bit off of that but anyway silver war by Alex Garland, the son of Julie yeah. Garland. So, the brother of you, other Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. It's not the son of Judy Garland. <laughs> She's been dead. Think... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's been dead. Um, it would also be like his grand, maybe his grandma. Yeah, maybe in that family maybe. tree, but it's not Judy Garland. So <laughs> don't take it. I was just joking. Here. Yeah, mad information here. Okay, so um, the son of Liza Mileni. <laughs> <laughs> All right, from great to writer director Alex Garland, son of. Liza Minnelli, grandson. <laughs> he took his grandma's last name. <laughs> he skipped his dad. He skipped his mom. Yeah. He went, I want to be my grandma. So. I be my so. Grandma Dorothy. But um, grandma, yeah, so what, what do you think? Because Nate, you've seen all of these movies in the theater. Okay. All of them. You brought the ugly ass popcorn from Doom 2, I believe. Um, uh, the, the one no, that looks I didn't like... get a pop. You didn't get didn't the get popcorn it. head? No, oh. because that was AMC. Got gotcha. you. You only regal. You're the regal guy. You got the I'm ghost trap. Guy. I know that. You I'm got the Godzilla. Uh, the, oh, Godzilla one's beautiful, by the way. That's a nice yeah. tin. Um, and there's a Cinemark right by my work, so I actually have a second Godzilla one. Um, I know for a fact they're going to be doing one for uh, Phantom Menace. I sent you the picture. Yeah, that was nice. Right, that Darth Maul on there. Um, as long as they're tin, I buy them. If they're plastic, skip. I do not buy it. Um, okay. Dune Part 2, let's just, real quick, worldwide, it's currently at... Jimmy says, show the Godzilla one. Show the Godzilla one. All right, you don't make me get up. <laughs> you made you get there. Yes. Anyway, while, while Nate is searching through his thousands of popcorn buckets that he has, because all he does is go to the theater and buy popcorn buckets for his room. Um, yeah, so this week, again, Civil War, we haven't had it. Oh, look, he already got it. All right. It's Wait. in the room with me. It's, it's in, in the room, room with me. It's just on the other side. Okay. Go ahead. Show, you, show oh, your... Yeah. Uh, popcorn bucket whoa all right okay then we got my boy kong Kong. and you could see it's uh what embossed so it pops out it's three nice then we got alex's boy yeah godzilla Godzilla. there we go godzilla with his fat neck (laughs) (laughs) and then purple on the inside yellow on the bottom i like it okay it's uh yeah, it's very nice tin. So, Jimmy, there you go. Okay, what was I saying? Dune Part 2. Dune Part 600, 2. 683 million worldwide. Fantastic. Mm. Big hit. Big success. Kung Fu Panda 4. Still just hanging around, right? Like, won't go anywhere. And um, 452 million worldwide. So, a nice hit for DreamWorks. Ghostbusters. Now, Ghostbusters still hanging out in the top three. Worldwide is at 159. Mm. Not a big hit. Um, but it's not, a, I, it's, it's not like a disaster, but it's not quite the hit. I think Sony was hoping it was going to be. Well, I don't um, know why they released it in the week of Kung Fu Panda and Godzilla. I don't get I agree with whoever, you. who thought of that. Um, but I it is what it is. I would have did this it in the last summer. Year. What, what yeah. was the movie? La- what Mission Impossible opened? Like what? Uh, wasn't it like right before Oppenheimer? And then it yes. lost all the IMAX. Like who? Some of these marketing or the the schedulers or whatever at Sony, this should have opened in February. February, first of all, there was no competition. It really could have cleaned up, um, but instead they put it on the same week as Kung Fu Panda, and they put it like the week before Godzilla, which uh, that opened very well. Um, that's at four hundred thirty six million worldwide. Yeah, so it came out a week later and it's made three times more money. You know, um, now Civil War. Let's talk about that really quick before we move on. Um, yep. 25 million. That's very good for an A24 film, first of all. Um, is some of them don't even make that in their whole entire run. Now, this had a $50 million budget, which by modern movie standards is, lo- we'll call it a mid-budget. You know what I mean? It's not huge. 
I think this will ultimately uh, it will ultimately do pretty well for them. The problem is, or the problem I could see with it, it has no international take so far, and I don't see this playing particularly great overseas. It is such a distinctly American movie in in as far as like the setting, and I don't know if it will make a big splash overseas. But I still think it'll make some money here in the U.S. It's getting good reviews. The word of mouth is pretty good. And I think it'll do well on uh, disc. I, I think people will buy this. But um, but it's A24. They don't pump in, you know, a ton of money. So I think it'll be okay. But I'm surprised. I, I did not check these numbers. Um, 25 is pretty good, for especially for an A24 film. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not bad. I'm, I'm very, again, it's very shocking to see, like, these movies releases, like, how they doing it. But... Hey, it is what it is. If they think this I mean, is what's gonna work, then okay, great. Uh, I think it's a it's big right fail for summer. Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, dumb. That was dumb. That was a dumb. And it's yeah. right before summer because, like May, once we get May, it's uh, May third is the Fall Guy. May tenth is the Planet of the Apes. Like no. it's gonna be, you know. I think Civil War released at the right time. I think Ghostbusters released at the wrong time. Um, I think well, Godzilla they'll make their money the right back. Time. Because the movie's not as bad. I mean, we all talked about it, whatever. But they'll make their money back physical copies and all that I, I think they will break even or maybe even pay back more and i think they'll make their money back with that the 4ks and all that stuff and different editions because i know i'm going to be buying like thirty thousand copies of it you'll but... be buying 15 versions of it so you're going to help stimulate the the economy of Ghostbusters. yeah of course but i'm gonna help him out so we can get another one <clears throat> so <laughs> uh, no don't Angel. you know what <laughs> don't <buy it>. <laughs> <laughs> if that's your goal don't just oh buy one God. copy no but um copy. okay so there you have it. Those are the numbers for this week's blockbuster. Okay, um, let's get let's read in some comments. Yeah, go ahead, read some Sorry. comments. You know, you yeah, know, you know, we love our chat. Um, okay, let's see. Show the Godzilla one. Nate, I'm so yeah, that's right. Phantom Menace, cup and tub. Robert says yes, correct. Uh, Jimmy says, whoa, that is cool. Thanks, thank you, Jimmy, for at least you appreciate it for making me get up to go get it. Show the ghost trap. Uh, no, too far. Um, I have. I can, you. I, Alex, show, show the ghost trap. Ghost I, I sent right. Alex one. Yeah, you can do it. Um, Evan, Dune 2 is coming back to IMAX next week. Oh, interesting. Getting a little re-release, make a couple extra dollars. Ralph just now discovered that Jimmy is lobby desk. Wow. Uh, yes, Ralph, for the 49th time. That's right. Um, he's slow. There's the ghost traps. Okay. <laughs> so the one, the purple one is AMC. I got That's like mad AMC ghost one. traps. <laughs> okay, the purple one is the AMC so, one. Yeah, this is AMC, and then this is Regal. That's the Regal one. Yeah. That one, it, you push a button, and it pops open, and you put the popcorn inside. Yeah, and it comes with a stick, so it looks like it builds yeah. in sticks. Yeah, yeah. It, does, it, yeah, glow, it has stick. to glow because there's a tab so let's here. Let's see on the top, that little, so that little green at the top, that lights up a little bit. Oh, this? That, and the and there's a red light on it somewhere that that Right here. Yeah, those turn on when you open it. Gotcha. And then you have this one where it holds all the popcorn in steady. And then this is a soda canister for, for and it has oh. different pieces. Oh, he's either happy or sad. Yeah, pretty Um, much. So there you go, uh, Jimmy. That was for you. Um, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Frankie's here. He's, you know, I, know he's always, Frankie? I always uh, see him over on Ralph's channel. He's definitely buying Ghostbusters on 4K. He enjoyed it. And of course, Dune 2, he thought it was fantastic. Um, Al, uh, Evan says uh, they make their money back from Alex buying every single copy. The Bank of Alex, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the Federal Reserve of Alex. Yeah, um, pretty much. And then they're all saying hello. Frankie says I'm an I'm in an Uber on my way to work, so I can't oh. be on long. My damn express bus never showed up. Oh, sorry, Frankie, but thanks for joining us. Even yeah, for thank you so much. Minutes, we appreciate it. Um, and that's it. And then Robert says you got some cool tubs. <laughs> <laughs> cool tubs no but um okay so there you have it that was box office numbers right now okay before we go to stash it and slash it right because over the weekend we we need i mean we need to get together or whatever it's been a while you know what i'm saying and we never we talk i mean we talk a lot every day but we never talk to the peoples and there was big events last week i mean there was wwe wrestlemania 40 right in philadelphia Jimmy Lobby Desk was there with his girl with his wife. Oh, he went? Yeah, he went. Jimmy was wow. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sent me photos. He said, hey, I'll look. And he's coming out of the thing like, woo. So I said, wow. <laughs> I was like, look, Jimmy was That's there awesome. live at WrestleMania both nights. I believe it was both nights. He he went with his wife. I wanted to ask you, 
right before we get into our actual main you know slash it stash it and then we go into the main di discussion what did you think of this year's wrestlemania and, and those of you out there that watched wrestlemania also let us know what did you think did you think wwe is in the right hands with triple h and is in the right direction for the future of the company so i want to know from you nick because you watch a lot of wwe's so what do you think? I watch all the uh, the like the pay per views or the premium live events. I don't gotcha. watch Raw or SmackDown. Just usually busy or don't have time. I do try to read up on like online uh, just to be able to know who's fighting who when I watch the live events. But I do watch the premium events. Um, Jimmy, that's awesome that you went. I've been to three WrestleManias myself. Pretty good. I'm definitely gonna try to go to another one. It's a lot of fun in person. What did I think? I watched it at my cousin James' house. Shout out to James. I think he's here. He was in the chat earlier. Mm. Went to James' house, ate some good food, watched some wrestling. Um, I went for Sunday night. Um, I will say, I thought it was very good. I thought the show as a whole, both nights, very good. Uh, the only match, I would say as far as negatives, the first night, Jimmy and Jay Uso, not good. Uh, yeah, I didn't like that match. Uh, no, and it should have been good because like the little video package they played right before was really good. And I was like, oh, this is going to be good. And all he did was do super kicks for 15 <laughs> minutes. I was like, this is whack. So that match, <laughs> yeah, that match kind of disappointed. Um, on the, I think the second night, I, I don't think there was any bad matches on the second night. I thought they were all good to very good. So I think on the whole, the, the wrestling was good. Um, it had the pageantry that you expect from a WrestleMania. I think Triple H knocked it out as far as the booking. I feel like all the right people won. And... I enjoyed it. I thought it was actually a very solid overall WrestleMania. Yeah, you know, I, I can agree. Like, I don't watch much WWE as much. Um, but watching it, it did feel different. But like I said, like for me, like I didn't care for the Usos thing. That that looked that was to me was boring. I wasn't too crazy with the Dominic Mysterio versus his father. I wasn't too thrilled with that one. Oh, they, I feel like they wrestle each other every year. Yeah, I just I was just like, oh, okay, cool. The R Truth moment of him winning i thought that was pretty cool but i wasn't too into that match as much um but and then the second night the la knight versus uh aj styles that was okay i don't think it was like the greatest match but i think that was okay wrestler in my opinion so okay aj Styles tried his best but uh la knight's over like rover because he could talk really good but mm. his wrestling is but i love the first match the drew mcintyre seth rollins great good match and I love the end. This guy just can't stop talking trash. CM Punk he starts beating him up. Damian Priest cash in on him. He loses. That was really cool. I was shocked. I was like, oh my God. I was like, this is actually pretty good. And then the Bailey versus I uh I uh, IYO oh, Sky. Okay. Yeah, EO Sky. I don't know. I like that match, bro. No, I thought yeah. it was pretty good. I don't know. I thought the Becky Lynch and, and that one should have been on Sunday. Becky Lynch versus uh the hot oh. chick with the block hair. Rhea Ripley. That was yeah, a good really opener. Shout out yeah. to Rhea Ripley, who I see at the movie theater every like every other month. She you should ask her out, bro. You should ask her out. She's always there with a big man. I'm not. I'm oh. not. He's a wrestler. I look. She. He's. She's a uh, dating. Uh, was it something Murphy? Buddy Murphy. Yeah. I'm not gonna so... go up to them and ask. Hey, I want to hit on you in front of this <laughs> strong man. You be like, um, hey, can I get you a popcorn she... bucket? <laughs> <laughs> can you sign my tub? Can you sign my tub? <laughs> um, <laughs> She's also not as big as she looks on TV. Uh, tall. She's strong looking, mm. but she's not really, really tall. But I think because most of the other women are short, she okay. looks really tall. Um, in real life, she's not as big as you would think. But she's cool. That match was good. I liked it. Um, uh, yeah. And The Rock. Uh, okay, listen. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a I'm a mark for my boy Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I grew up watching him wrestle like Bret Hart, my favorite wrestler of all time. And then Attitude Era, big rock fan. Love him. I was in WrestleMania in Miami when he faced Cena. Loved it. And to be honest, and, and then this, even though I'm a mark and I'm a fan, completely honest, he did way better than I thought he was going to do for a 52-year-old who hasn't wrestled in like 10 years or whatever it is. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he went out there and was freaking Shawn Michaels, but he did a really good job. It was brawling mostly, but he sold which is important. You know, he sold for Cody. He made them look good, even though he finished them off with the, he said like this. He said, Mama Rhodes. I, hate you. <laughs> I love the Mama <laughs> Rhodes thing. I love what he keeps talking yeah. to Mama Rhodes. Yeah. yeah, it was great. So I thought he, yeah. I thought he did really great for, you know, all things considered. And he looks, I mean, the guy looks like an action figure still. So. I'm definitely want to see the behind the scenes of that storyline. because I think it comes out Wednesday, this Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. 
So where, is I'm, it, where can you find that? Is it on Peacock? Yeah, YouTube. Oh. No, it's going to be on Peacock, though. I know there's going to be something on Peacock. Oh, I it think. could be on your job. Yeah, Peacock. But... Shout out to Peacock for providing you guys all with <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I want to see the behind the scenes because, like, honestly, Hollywood Rock, which is the, the heel of the people's champ, I like it way better. And I'm <laughs> this dude was Mama Rhodes because he kept yelling at the, her, the whole match. I thought yes. it was mad funny. I thought that was funny. And then he had the belt, the Mama Rhodes belt. Yeah, yeah, when he whipped Cody with that belt, it was the loudest smack you ever heard. Just, like, yeah. I was like, oh, Mama Rhodes ain't going to like that. She no, and she was that. cursing at him too. <laughs> Mama Rhodes. Yeah, she did. It was yeah, hilarious. She was. I was like, oh, I thought Mama Rose should have jumped over the barricade and beat the crap out of The Rock's mom because she was on the other side. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> I was like, I hope you rock bottoms, Mama Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Rhodes takes a bump. That would be funny. Yeah. No, oh, but uh, yeah, Ray WrestleMania. Does a power bomb through a table on her. Yeah, WrestleMania was actually really cool. I thought it was really good. It was success. Uh, and then Monday Night Raw happened, and I didn't know that shit went on for three hours. I passed out on the <laughs> second hour. I couldn't stay up. But look, other than that, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, in, in terms of WWE's. Um, that's all I got for you guys because I don't remember most of the Monday. Mini, uh, I will give it a uh, I will give it overall uh, eight uh, eight and a half out of ten. Very good WrestleMania. Eight okay. And a half out of 10. There you have it. All right. So now <laughs> we all do this new this segment that I enjoy doing. It's called stash it or trash it. Um. So in this in this segment we're gonna be I'm gonna show some 4Ks that are coming out Tuesday and Nate is gonna let us know if you should buy it or throw it in the trash. So we're going to start off with one of the Blu-rays that are coming out this Tuesday called Fletch Lives, right? Oh. And this movie stars Chevy Chase, and this is a Kino Lorber film. Um, if you guys don't remember, Chevy Chase starred in this film uh, called Fletch. Um, so, Nate, what do you think? Is this a stash it or trash it? All right. First of all, I love that you went to the sequel instead of the first, <laughs> the first movie because Fletch is also coming out, but you went with Fletch Lives. Oh. You said, what about the sequel? Now, this <laughs> one has a way better uh, cover. Yeah. Uh, a million percent. For me, this is a trash hit. I think the first Fletch is pretty good. Not my Chevy Chase is not my necessarily like cup of tea for humor. Okay. He just seems like such an asshole all the time. And like, I don't, not the most favorite. <laughs> style of humor gotcha. um but this sequel i don't think was that great so i'm gonna go with trash it and i want everyone to know most of the stuff we say trash it i feel like our buddy scott is gonna buy so, yeah he buys uh, all the shit that we say it. no yeah yeah um now, he said he's never heard of this but he's probably gonna order it well i'm gonna say this into both trash both of them because i you know i either. chevy chase the only movie i could literally say i enjoy chevy chases are in the national lampoons and uh, the three amigos. Other than that, I can't. I can't. But so anyway, for fetch, it's time to trash it. And for trash it, Fletch dies. Change the name to Fletch. Fletch dies. dies. You lose. Good day, sir. That's what happens to the trash it. All right. Next on the list is a little western called High Noon from Kino Lorber. So, oh. what do you think about this film, Nate? Is this something that people should try to watch, starring Gary Cooper and Grace Kelly? Okay, I have I well, I have to be honest here. This is gonna be a stash it. I, I have this pre-ordered. Um and I've never seen it. Um and it does have this is the Blu-ray, it does have a 4K. I pre-ordered the 4K. Mm. Um I do enjoy Gary Cooper. Pretty much everything I have seen. I haven't seen all his movies, but I like him. But Grace Kelly, I love. I think she's one of the best. She wasn't in a ton, like a million movies, mm -hmm. but she did a couple of Hitchcock films. Uh, and then she got married and became literally uh, like a queen or something in Monaco or a princess. So that's pretty cool. Um, this looks cool. I've not seen it. I know our buddy Scott has seen it, uh, but I have pre-ordered this. So I'm going to go stash it. All right. Well, with stash it, I'm going to give it a... a man. All right. So that stays. <laughs> <laughs> so next on the list, I don't know how to pronounce this damn movie. And I'm going to try it because oh. why not? This movie is a... Criterion collection film from 2000 called The Wicker Miskin Miskin Harmoniskin. <laughs> the Whisker Harmoniskin. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. Let's see. The work workmeister harmonies. <laughs> Whisker Herman it skits. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh my god. So what are you gonna give work uh work of miscus <laughs> Herman is trash it. <laughs> if, if, I, if I can't read it, yeah. I can't watch it. No, well, first of all, okay, I've never heard of this, obviously. I have no idea. I don't and you said this is from two thousand, so it's like relatively new. I've never heard of this. Um. Yeah. All right. So now, okay. If we're gonna, if we're gonna do a movie that I've yeah. never heard of, okay. I gotta go by judge a book on the cover. I see judge. a man. I see a man. <laughs> He's looking at. I don't know what that is. It's a That's giant Smeagol's eye. eye. Yeah, it's creepy, <laughs> but I don't think it's a horror. Mm. Um, and it's directed by Bella Tar and Agnes Hernansky. <laughs> <laughs> Trash it, trash it. Trash it? All right, we're going to give it the whatever. Whatever. All right, we're trashing it. That's the yeah, whatever. Okay, so this movie, here's another movie, okay? I could pronounce this one, ladies and gentlemen, okay? This is a Blu-ray 3D movie called The Electric Man in 3D. Now... <laughs> I don't even know there's 3D movies coming out because there's no technology for 3D no more unless people are buying them still. No, but... an anaglyph. So this means red and blue glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, Nate, is this something that, well, this comes with 2D, digital 3D, and of course, the blue and red 3D. Um. What? So okay. what do you? It looks like the gay abduity duels or whatever from the Saturday Night Live. Gay duels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gary <laughs> and Ace. <laughs> True. <sighs> what you got? Um, it. Tr oh, trash oh. it or, or 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 keep it. Okay. So, um. Again, I've I have no idea what this movie is. Yeah. I think the cover is. <laughs> it's like it's almost <laughs> cool. But he looks like he's fighting a giant piggy bank. Like, look, there's like a big hole in the top of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I don't, I like the name Electric Man 3D, mm. but I don't like the little tagline underneath Maximum Compatibility 3D. Blue, right? <laughs> Just for that, trash it. It's, mm. a, it's, and, and it's red and blue 3D, so definitely trash it. All right, so we're trashing it. Whatever. <laughs> So the next movie up, it's a sequel to a beloved, beloved pothead movie. All right. Ooh. This is the only movie that my wife keeps referencing as funny. And I'm like, lady, there's a lot of funnier movies out there. And that's a little called Half-Baked, Total High, Ready to Roll. This is a sequel to Half-Baked. And I don't know, Nate, what do you think? <laughs> you look so <laughs> stunned. <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, Nate's face looks so shocked. He's like, "What is this?" Yes, is half this? baked. Okay. Total half. To totally so I'm high. I'm guessing it's a high school movie because um, they're gonna play off the totally high. Those two guys look young, so it's probably like totally high. You get it? They're in high school, and also they smoke weed. Um. You got the bald guy, David Keckner in there from Anchorman. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, shout out to Angelina, your wife. I do like ha uh, Half-Baked. I think it's funny. Um, I, I don't think it's like the greatest of all time. I'm not, stoner movies aren't my like, yeah. favorite, but that one's <clears throat> a, a good one. But what the hell is it? No, this so is this, a track. So this is what the is. movie's about, for those okay. of you out there. Because I know a lot of people are going, what the hell did Alex just pull out? First of all, I'm just grabbing movies out that are coming out this Tuesday. I so we it. can say yeah. trash it or trash it. Now, this film is about hoping to raise money for their friend's funeral. Three stoners try to sell a strain of magical weed in Los <laughs> Angeles. However, Magic. they soon find themselves in over their heads when their business ventures angries a rough, a ruthless drug lord. It sounds like the first movie. It sounds like a regular <laughs> basic movie that, that me and you could have made, to be yeah, honest with much. you. Yeah. So, stash it or trash it? 
No, this is going to be a total trash it. All by right. the way, it's directed by Michael Titties. Um, <laughs> Michael what? I just looked it up. Titties. Oh, God. <laughs> it's spelled T-I-D-D-E-S. But I'm going to call it Titties. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, this is going to be... No, this is a directed video sequel to a movie that I only kind of like. So, no, this is going to be a uh, trash it. We're trashing it. Whatever. All right, so next up is a franchise that we covered on the AMG podcast, our Action Movie Guys podcast, and we had Evan sit down throughout the whole time helping us review the Jack Ryan series. They're coming out with the ultimate movie collection of Jack Ryan, all the way from the Red Hunt October, all the way to Shadow Recruit with a Chris Pint version of the Jack Ryans. Now, if you guys have not checked out the podcast, you guys, uh, Action Movie Guys podcast is available anywhere you listen to your podcast on. Um, so... Nate, what do you think? I mean, these okay. are not getting recoded or nothing. So they have the just same re release. Just a straight up re release. Yeah. Okay. So I will say this much. This looks like <laughs> a bigger box, which means they're probably individually uh it's probably individual uh packages. Sort of like the Bourne. Remember, it came in individual because the original one was one fat box in and they were all in one case. Um I will say if you don't have that first 4K set already. Yeah. Um, I think this is a stash it because these these are good movies. So unlike the last few, this is actually these are movies worth owning. Um, so I'm gonna say stash it if you did not buy them on 4K, you don't own them physically. But obviously, trash it if you do. There's not a it's not a rebuy. Like they they're not coming with some kind of new Dolby Vision, um, Dolby Atmos, new this or that. If it's not that, then a, a stash it or trash it. <laughs> All right. right. So we so we stash it. It'll be a stash it. Turn to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. My man. Okay. All right. So this is getting the stash it go. button. Um. So yeah. For those of you out there, this is a great collection of straight um analysts action movie if you want to talk political about political thriller action movie there you go political thriller action film so these are all good all f um except for some of all fears everything else is good um but yeah those those are it now last but not least in the set of stash it or trash it now talking about jack ryan for the first time you can own the entire amazon prime episodes of jack Ooh. ryan the complete series first time not first time but the last season is on 4K for the first time. So the entire three seasons on 4K, I will be picking this up. This series was fantastic. Jack Karinsky played a great Jack Ryan, and I wish they continue going on, but I do understand he is a superstar in Hollywood now, so it's hard to keep up with him. So with that said, Nate, what do you think? Have you seen this series? Uh, No. I was going to defer to you because this is you watch this. Uh, yeah. So I'll defer to your uh, stash it. If you're a fan, uh, I know that uh, they were like, you were like, they didn't release the last season or whatever. Well, here you go. You got yeah. all of them. And I think Evan uh, mentioned this too, uh, because he likes this show as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think this, I'll, I'll go with your uh, decision. I'll say stash it. It, it yeah. sounds good. I've just never seen it. Yeah. I'm, I'm stashing this also. Oh man. Yeah, so we're stashing the Jack Ryan collection here. Um, so all right, so now let's get to the main potatoes of the show. All right, let's talk some Monkey Man. All right, so oh, you know what? Let's throw in the the, the intro, right, of what we've been watching, right? Because we haven't done that in a while. All right, yes. coming up next is what have we been watching? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I shot it six times. What have we been watching? You're gonna need a bigger potion. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. For the power of Christ, compelled. I'd like to have a call discussion on this topic. Manage that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are up to what have we been watching? Well, I'll talk quick, and Nate, we could talk about it too, because Nate's seen the film, and of course, you could check out his full review here on the Geeks and Flicks channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get my opinion already. I'll just chime in a little yeah. bit. I want to hear Alex. So I finally got to see Monkey Man. Yeah. I got to see Monkey Man on Friday when it came out. Me and wife went. We had the babysitter. I said, hey, let's go check out see. She wanted to see it, not me. I was like, I I'll see whatever you want to see. So she wanted to see Monkey Man because she likes that Dev uh Patel guy. Dev Patel. Yeah. yeah. So I said, All right. So we go see it. Honestly, not bad of a movie. 
as a standalone, as a standalone action film, I said, you know what? This is not bad of a film. I enjoyed the action sequences. I do agree with you in terms of the John Wicknesses of what a lot of people seen with the John. There is no John Wick up in here. The oh. difference between Dave Patel's version versus the John Wicks is that he's not shooting nobody. This guy is doing hand to hand and minimal weapons. He's just straight up fighting people like straight up. So it's more of a martial arts movie more than a, a gun food type of film. So I enjoy that part of the film. I thought it was really good. The storyline itself. Yeah, it was okay. It was an all right storyline for, for was it Indian movie? I guess you want to call it right. Correct. Indian action movie. Um, my wife is into that that culture, so she knew a lot of like that political stuff that he was trying to tell in the film. So like she knew that all that stuff. Like I didn't know none of this stuff. So I, like even when he went into that like that weird place and and stuff, she Jungle. knew she knew about that stuff. Like I wish yeah. she could come down and talk about it, but um, scared. yeah, she's scared. She has a baby, but yeah, like that si situation. I was okay with like I wasn't too thrilled with the middle part, but I think the first I agree with you in your in your review the first th the first act the third act were the best parts of the film. Yeah. The middle act gets so it's so slow. It slows down a lot. Yeah, it gets so it's like they they went full throttle and then they started to ease it back. Like all right, let's just give you now the story. To me, it didn't work as well. His direction because this is his debut directing. I thought it was pretty good. I For someone that debuted, I thought it was way better than Van Damme. And we did Van Damme The Quest. Way oh, better yeah. than Van Damme. Um, some decisions, it was a little head scratching. Like, I don't understand why would you do this part in this situation. But, like, I, th I thought he did everything well. For someone that's acting and directing and writing, I guess he wrote the movie also. It's very hard to do, and I think he did it very well. But honestly, the situations with the act with the action, he did a great job. But it's just certain things that nitpicked me was the shaking of the cameras. Oh, that was yeah. way too much for me. And a lot of the dope scenes that I thought it was gonna be really good with the hand to hand was way too close. I felt like the cameras were just like way too close to hide some of the stuff. But I was just like, oh man, brother, like just stretch it out, move it back so I could see the full body torso whipping ass. But other than that, man, I gotta mm. say. I gave it a three out of a five. I thought it was a good film. I, I mean, I know a lot of people are giving it great and all this stuff and, uh, and, uh, and comparing it to the John Wicks and stuff. No, but I will say this, though. I wouldn't mind Dave Patel, uh, uh, Dev Patel in a John Wick movie. Like, if they do a spinoff and he's, like, in the Indian version of freaking John Wick and he got to go again, my man Baba Yaga, I'm okay with it because he showed that he could fight it and he could do it. So other than that, um, what, what did you think about it? If you want to give well, a little short little... Doo -doo. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give my two cents real quick, though. A lot of people came <clears throat> in. Let's say hi. Uh, hi. John Doe Juggalo's here. What's up? So John Doe. Um, Cal is here. What's up, Cal? Cal. Uh, Evan popped in. What's up, Evan? How you doing, Evan? Uh, Jerry is here. What's up, Jerry? What's up, Jerry? Milky Movies. Oh, that's... Uh, I think his name is Corey. What's up, Corey? What's up, Corey? Um, I think that's everybody. Yes, that's everybody. And then What's up, everybody? Okay. Okay. Um, I agree with everything you said. Uh, I only gave, I gave it a three and a half. Well, on a five scale, I gave it a three yeah. and a half. So we're close. Uh, half point more. I gave it a seven in my review because I, I always score on tens. Um, I think it's good. I think it's good. Um, I don't think it's amazing. Uh, I do think it is a good, solid action movie. Um, yeah, I mean, we kind of see eye to eye on this one. I think the middle act, it just, it's not that it's... It's not that it's like pointless. It's just a little boring, honestly. Especially, yeah. I, I love the vibe of the first act of this movie where he's like trying to infiltrate this thing, right? It's like a criminal. We're not doing spoilers. Don't worry, guys. But like he's trying to infiltrate this criminal thing and it has a lot of energy, right? Like it, the pacing is fast. It's moving, it's moving, moving, and there's action. And I was like, okay, I'm digging this. I, I like it. And then you get to that middle part and it's like, okay, I like this a lot less than that first part. Um, and then we joked about it, but I'm dead serious. Like the way he becomes like this ultimate fighting guy is like pretty stupid. I, I didn't really like that. But then the third act, I think picks up again. I think the action scenes in the third act are way better than the ones in the first act. Um, to your point, I feel like it's almost like, I, I agree. I think he shot it. Well, I think he did a great job for a first time director, but the way the shaky cam a lot, it's a lot more in the first act. And in the second act, it's a lot, a lot more like well shot i don't know if that was intentional like almost like with the character as he became a better fighter 
even the camera work was better. You know what I mean? Um, but yes, I uh, I went on a little miniature rant in my review. I hate the John. I hate my point with the John Wick thing was I hate that every action movie someone says John Wick because John Wick is not the first action movie to exist. There has been millions before it. And guess what? John Wick was inspired by a bunch of other movies as well. So while there can be clones, while there's always that, you know, seminal action, like the matrix, remember after the matrix came out, everybody was copying the matrix and the matrix took inspiration from Asian cinema and things like that. John Wick's no different. I get the comps, but I just don't like that. Every movie gets compared to it. This movie like people were like the Indian John Wick, and like not really, not not really at all. Um, you know, you even made a joke. You were like, "Oh, he's he's wearing a suit." Okay, but Neo wore a suit, or the the agents wore a suit in the Matrix. Like, so what? Um, I don't know. You were kidding, but people will do stuff like that and like mean it. It's like, okay, don't be silly. Um, but anyway, I thought the movie was good. I agree with pretty much everything you said. Um, I would say see it. I I, I liked it. I I thought it was good. Not great, but I would like to see what Dev Patel does. Um, and I thought he, he was good in the action scenes. Like, he was he got in really good shape. He's tall, so I kind of like the way it looks. And you said something that I a million percent. I would say this has more in common with other, like, Asian action movies than with American action movies. Yeah. Like, the martial arts movies and things like that. So, yeah, I, I, um, I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, and <clears throat> one thing Stephanie said here also, by the way, hi, Stephanie. Um, yes. she said is like he was plotting his revenge since he was little. That's another thing. It's a revenge story. I mean, this dude is just pretty much he he's dude, out to get this one person. He should have been better already. Yeah, and I agree with her. By the time this movie kicks off, he's been thinking about this revenge for like twenty freaking years already. And you tell me he's still kind of whack. Like okay, and then something happens that makes him not whack. A little bit suspect. So she has a good point there. No, I mean yeah, I totally agree. And then. I mean, again, you got to watch it for yourself, and then you can judge it. But like I said, I I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah. It's a very good plot. Like, it like the person and the thing with his uh, the the why he wants revenge. I was yeah. with it. I, I like that. It was good. Yeah, and um, and what was another thing that I I got to see? Uh, I'm trying to think before we go on. Um, oh, I started to get into the Donnie Yang films, um, right. which I showed you. I saw like I. I brought a bunch of blu-rays of his and i might do some reviews for the channel but i watched flashpoint mm -hmm. um it's, a, it's a, i think you would like that one he's a detective that he's like a brute <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> he just, okay. yeah it's, it's actually pretty good I, I might do a review on it but I, i've been getting into a lot of the martial arts again it, it's been fun going back and re-watching re those all right so nate what what film did okay. you get to see um, uh, you right, wanted to so talk about Yes, I saw another movie at the theater this week. I, I went for a double feature on Thursday. I saw Civil War. I'm not going to review that again. I did enjoy it. My review is on the channel. So if you haven't watched it, just check it out there because I don't want to just say the same thing twice. Now, I saw a second movie, though, and I was going to do a video. But then when me and you talked about the show, I was like, you know what? Why don't we do it on the live show? So really quick, short review. I saw a movie called Arcadian. Uh, this stars Nicolas Cage and... Nobody really famous. I know the one kid, Jaden Martell. He was in It, uh, the 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 new It, the twenty seventeen. He was a, uh, uh, what was the name? What was the name of the brother? The 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 one that lives, the main kid. He's a uh, his little Georgie gets killed, and then he has an older brother. Whatever that kid's name is, he was him, Billy or Johnny. I don't know. Whatever his name was, um, I know him from that. I know him from It. Um, and this is a interesting movie. Um, it is a lower budget movie. Uh, I know RLJE Shutter, so this is gonna be on Shutter in probably like a couple of months. So if you have Shutter, just see it then. Um, I thought this was pretty good. I thought this was pretty good for a low budget movie. I think they utilized um, what they had well. Uh, this is a mixture of a post apocalyptic movie and a monster movie and a family drama and i'm not even lying it really reminded me of you ever see if if you've ever seen the movie the road with vigo mortensen it's like if the road was a, a man and a quiet place was a nice woman and they got together and had a baby that would be this movie pretty much mm -hmm. um so nicholas cage plays his dad he has these two kids again there's been uh, it's, it's a post-apocalyptic so something happened there's a big war nukes whatever it was and they uh, in the daytime, 
they're just out and about. They can live their life. He teaches them how to be men, all this stuff. But at nighttime, these creatures come out. There's these creatures that they come out and they got to board up the house and all this kind of stuff. Um, so it's that kind of movie. You see, it's not super original, but the acting is good and the production is good for for a lower budgeted movie. My only gripe, I did not like the monsters. I thought they were okay, but they do this thing. So, okay, the minorest of spoilers, because this has nothing to do with the plot. But they do this thing where they, like, they chomp their mouth, like, they chomp it, but they go really fast, and they go, like, <laughs> and it is the funniest, like, it's not supposed to be funny, and I laughed every single time it happened. I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to be laughing. This looks, this looks so stupid. So that was a dumb choice. Um, if any of you guys have seen it, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, if you do watch it, you're going to probably laugh at that part. Um, overall, I will give this one as well a 7 out of 10. Um, a 7 out of 10. I thought it was solid if you're into post-apocalyptic uh, monster movies. Like, if that sounds your cup of tea, Nicolas Cage is really good in it as the dad. Um, like, he, it's a, it's a serious movie. It's not like one of his goofy, corny, like, you know, uh, B. I wouldn't call it a B movie at all. Um, I mean, I guess it's a B movie in budget, but it's not like a cheesy uh, movie, except for that monster going. Like, it's hilarious. It's literally hilarious. So um, if they change that, I might have liked it a little more, but it took me out every time. Mm. Okay. It's only 90 minutes, so it's quick. Wait for Shudder, though. I, I would say skip it at the theater. Wait for Shudder. Seven out of ten. Mm. Well, you know, it's funny talking about movies and stuff, and we both like Sucker Punch. Oh, yes. Right? So Zack Snyder came out and said that um, he has footages that he wants to fix Sucker Punch. Can you do it in 4K? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I could call him and see what he says. But he says, um, he goes, Zack Snyder wants a chance to fix Sucker Punch. He goes, I have footage already shot now. But he's calling for fans to help out. So... I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. What do you want us to do? Give him money? I don't know. He's like, uh, he says the only movie I would change is Sucker Punch because it never really got finished correctly. So then why did you <laughs> release it? Anyway, There's even the director's cut is not really the correct cut. He goes, it's really just an extended version. If I had the chance, I would fix that movie. What exactly... That, um, he said, fix would involve remains to be seen, but the film revolving around a group of women led by Emily Browning, baby doll, um, trying to survive, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so he wants to fix Sucker Punch. I, I don't know. I felt like you had your chance with Sucker Punch, mm -hmm. and I I don't know. I just... The time has come and gone. Like, at this yeah. point, it, it's irrelevant enough where, even though it has some fans, we, we liked it, um... It's kind of a little bit of a mess as far as the story. I think we admit it as much. I love it from a purely uh, like visual and audio perspective. Like I think the music is great. The sound is great. The visuals are cool. The action is good. The storyline, yes, not great. Um, but I, I agree. I think his, I think the time has come and gone for that. It's pa if this was like right after it came out, like a year or two, maybe. But we're talking, what? when did that come out? Well, he says, unfortunately, the director explained that the legal issues is over the film rights. He says, have prevented him from reworking it. He said, that said, he's, a, he's still holding out hope that he'll have another opportunity to recut into something that's better suited for his vision. I have tons of footage already shot. They have let me uh, put it together. He said, we ask every now and then. We have acts again, and I think they have to be a window when no one's got... And you know that's Warner Brothers. Know. It's not going to happen. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't Who know. Who's this guy think he is? <laughs> I like Zack Snyder movies, but come on. What do you think? He's Francis Ford Coppola. He wants to go back and remake, uh, redo all his movies like George Lucas and change. Like, leave it alone. It is what it is. It was your least successful movie. Leave it. It's It has its fans and it has its detractors. It is what it is. Let your art be what it is. I, I, I'm, I don't want to watch another version of it. I'm fine with, with the one that's there. I, I I totally agree with you on that, um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it in in our front. We took we saw Monkey Man, we yep. saw Arcadia, right? What other movies you're seeing this weekend? This week, I will. Well, I had tickets to see the ungentlemanly warfare thing Saturday, but that there was a UFC fight, and I was like, I gotta watch this, so I skipped it. So this week, I will be uh, Thursday. I'm off work, so you know what that means. Double feature. I will mm -hmm. be seeing. 
um, Abigail. And uh, then I will be seeing the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I think that's what it's called. It's a new guy, Richie. It looks fun. Alan Richardson, your boy. Jack Reacher's in it. Mm. Um, Henry Cavill is in it. Uh, and a hot Isaac Gonzalez from Ambulance. Rob's girlfriend. I know Rob. Big fan. Yeah, so Rob. I think he's going to be there before me. He's going to see it Wednesday <laughs> night somehow. <laughs> that's what I'll be seeing in the theater this week. Yeah, like it's funny because Star Trek Discovery started. Um, actually, it's not that bad so far. It, but the stupid storyline is very uh, MacGuffin. They have a got to get an object. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, it's it's like they got to get pieces of whatever. And I was just like, oh. But anyway, it's the final season for that. Uh, Strange New World. Star Trek Strange New World just got signed for another season, which I'm happy for. So it's going to season four. So. That's my favorite show out of all the Star Treks. The one with Christopher Pine. And I'm happy that they got it even another season um, coming out. So I'm happy for those. I want to see Shogun. Everyone's been telling me about Shogun. Oh, yeah. And I'm Everyone's like, all right. It rings. Like, it's yeah. amazing. I got to get me to watch some Shogun. So that's going to be fun. I think that's pretty much it. In our, let's in our, in, yeah, yeah let's check the chat and wrap it up here. Because I know some people put what they were watching. Yeah, so we'll um, let's see what we got as far as what everyone else is watching. Um, Robert watched uh, this week. He saw Monkey Man, The First Omen, Sting, and Civil War. I think he saw Civil War twice, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Uh, Ste- yeah, Stephanie saw Monkey Man, Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire, Civil War, and Apocalypse Now. I don't know. Stephanie really doing big things out here. She yeah, saw three movies very, in the theater. Wow. She's getting back. She's buying popcorn. She's back to buying the popcorn. Um, <laughs> Evan, I mean, not Evan. Um, Rich saw Civil War, The Lionheart. The Lionheart? I don't know what that is. I know Lionheart with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I don't know what The Lionheart is, but he saw that. And he watched all the Fast and Furious movies. Um, sounds like a very power-packed week for you, my friend. Uh, did anyone else put it? No, Stephanie said, I feel that the... Pl- okay, we read that already. Um, oh, Evan said, I added Flashpoint to my watch list, so you got mm. him sold. Jaden Martell played Bill in it. Bill, that's his name. He plays Bill. Uh, Sucker Punch is what it is. Just leave it alone. That's what Jay says. Um, Evan says, the whole getting fans to cry like little babies to get a different version is driving me crazy. He's Ooh. sick of it. Tribro said, I agree 100%, Nate. Yes, uh, I, the sucker punch thing. Guy Ritchie with the word gentleman in it. Are all these films connected? No, I don't believe so. Um, and then Robert says, Guy Ritchie's movies are not connected. <laughs> 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 um, Jay says, Shogun is fire. Tribro has been watching X-Men 97. I Have did you see seen the first that? Two I watched the first two. Oh, so I watched good. the four episodes. I think you I watched like four Cyclops episodes. In that huh? You had to like Cyclops in the first couple. He was getting some action. Oh, he was getting mad action. And I'm not talking about butt action. I'm talking about this dude getting action. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. he was getting action. I'm going to say this about the show. I'm iffy about it still. Half of me is like, yo, this dude is dope. It's like when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. Then the other half, I'm like, oh, my God, what was going on? (laughs) I'm just like, it's trying too hard to be 90s. Yeah, and Morph is a stupid addition, and they made Bishop yeah. like a way more prevalent character than he ever like than than he truly was. Um, um, but I thought the, I only watched two episodes. Um, I like oh, the idea wait till of you get you know, take over. wait yeah wait till that stuff because I almost four episodes in and I was like okay this storyline is actually pretty cool. But yeah. um, I'm waiting for I, it to be done like so that I could just watch them all. That's what I did. I, I stopped at the four. I was like I, I'll wait till the complete episodes are done all together. Like that. So hmm. I'll wait. Um, so that's what Triber is watching. Evan says, I've been bored with Shogun. Ooh, oh. it looks beautiful. I'm loving, but he's loving the show. Sugar. He says, Keep your Shogun. Give me some sugar. sugar. Um, Josue. Okay. What's up, Josue? He's watching Josue. Amadeus on Netflix. Uh, Scott watched Amadeus. In the Mouth of Madness, Dead and Buried, Black Sheep, and The Abyss. Um, oh, look, uh, Evan said, I mean, I keep calling him Evan. He's going to get mad at me. <laughs> he is. This is Rich. Rich said the that's because Evan's always messing with him. Um, Rich says the Lionheart is a documentary about an indie car race. Oh, pass. Uh. Thank you. Thank you for making sure I could not watch that. Um, Robert <laughs> says I rewatched Escape from New York again. Um, and You're then always Evan, watching Escape from New York. 
to be fair, he did say it was one of his top five favorite movies. It is. So. I'm just saying he's always watching it. He loves it. He likes to escape from New York. Um, <laughs> this week's episode was amazing. Um, he said Hiroki Sonata is his uncle. Um, Sugar on Apple TV is good. So Jay is a fan of Sugar. And Evan says Rich and I are now one. So, mm. so there you go. They are the same person uh, in my mind. Sorry, Rich. And uh, actually, sorry, Evan, that I lump you in together. Yeah. I mean, well, anyway, uh, they have a guess. Well, I've been watching some good stuff this week. You guys been watching some good stuff. Um, yeah, I've been, you know, it's funny. Rewatching the, the 1966 Batman TV series. I, I guess, man, I wish I could hug Adam West. He is so funny. He is. I mean, <laughs> I never watched that show. I you never, never watched, watched it? I've seen, like, clips of him and stuff. I never watched it. It's, it's, it, you know, it's so, it's very campy. I mean, it's very campy. But it's that the amount of famous actors that are villains, it just boggles your mind. It's just like, what the hell is going on? And it's, it's very fun. Like, I think Joker, I think the well casted are the ones that everyone knows Joker, Penguin, Riddler, um, yeah. King Tut is he actually pretty good too. Yeah. King, he, Tut. King Tut is funny. Vincent funny. Price plays, <laughs> Vincent Price plays Egghead. <laughs> yeah, you, know uh, you you gotta watch it. it. It's, it's really when I was a kid. Like, I, well, I, no, no. When you scared. were born, yeah, you were yeah. never. Yeah, this thing is. This was on a on a different thing, but yeah, it I was. I mean, I'm having. Yeah. yeah, you gotta watch it like somewhere somehow. Like, I mean, the movie's different. I mean, it's the same style as the TV show, but I feel like the TV show is way more cornier way more campier so it's like it's i don't know i just fun. i just put it on when i'm like super boy i just now put it on and i just laugh you watch that them. movie and you're like you know what i had I to know. the joker <laughs> is so freaking funny honestly cesar romero i can see now why like you know jack he nicholson like modeled himself right does huh? he have like does he have like a mustache underneath his paint dude he's all white <laughs> and all you see is black <laughs> <laughs> And that's why I put on the in our chat uh, with the patrons. Uh, they put the famous uh, the Heath Ledger mask. Yeah, that's that's Caesar Romero's mask in the in the nineteen sixty six. And I was like, wait a minute, that looked kind of familiar. And then I saw it, and I was like, oh okay, kind of makes sense. They paid homage. Uh, <clears throat> yes, Bruce well, Lee was Rock in it. Bruce Lee. Yes, because he played the Green Hornet. He played Kano. Kano, yeah. No, Kato. Yeah, Kato, not Kano. Um, yeah, he played that character. TMNT part two. Yeah, Secret yeah. Movie. Dick, and then Dick Clark was in it too. There's a scene with Dick Clark when they're going Dick up the Clark, they, New Year's Eve. Yeah, the rocking New Year's Eve when he's going up the side of the <laughs> when he's going out the side of the building, right? And the people open up the windows and they're like, "Hey, Batman!" <laughs> and his famous people popping up. You, yeah, Dick Clark himself. But um, but yeah. Anyway, that's that show is iconic. Um, it is. Ralph remembers Egghead. Um, I'm gonna send you a photo of Egghead. You can see. Egghead. Um, Jose has been watching The Office. The Office yes, is I fun. Know I'm super late. Oh, The Office is class. You go there's. Yeah. You can watch The Office anytime. That is a go-to, easy show to watch. Besides Prison Mike, my other favorite episode is the Willy Wonka episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little girl. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We told Pam. You don't like the one with a, a date, Mike? Remember when he goes on a date? He's oh, date that Mike. was a funny one. Yeah. Date that. Mike. Yeah, Dick Mike. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that show. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, the one with the uh, uh, not Prison Mike. The other one with the uh, when they is a racial thing with the. Oh was, no! The what was it? Not it's not um, it's not the clumps. It's the when well, he's that big guy. It's yeah, not, it's he's like a Albert big... type character. What's his stupid name? I can't remember. I know what you're talking about. But I can't yeah. remember. He's so, only no spoilers, only season two. Oh, oh, okay. No, yeah, those, are not spoilers. those are just names of things that, that yeah. will literally not ruin it for you. I promise. No. You. If I say date Mike, you don't even know what I'm saying. So you'll be fine. You'll be good. You'll be good. Um, uh, Rich, let me see. Never seen it. Don't watch it, Rich. You no, like Rich it, is gonna hate it. He's gonna be like, it's I don't a comedy. like Steve you don't like comedy. <laughs> <laughs> watching like Steve car documentaries and Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're just wrapping up the show today. Um, we'll be back again two weeks from now. We'll be back Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Same bad. 
same bad channel, same bad time. Same bad, time, same same bad, bad channel. channel. Look again. We're gonna bring back some more uh, box office uh, numbers for you guys. Uh, when, once we come back again, we'll do some more stash it or trash it <laughs> for the coming yeah, week. I love that thing. That's fun. Yeah. yeah, and then of course we're gonna make me bring back some judgment time. And when I say judgment time, we're gonna be reviewing some old ass trailers and see if they still hold up after all this time. We're gonna be calling it judgment time next week we're gonna review some five trailers five trailers and you know Ooh. what i'm gonna let you guys hit us up on instagram like nayflix reviews or afig007 that's my instagram page afig007 or nayflix reviews give us five of uh, random movies and we'll look up trailers and see if it does justice to the movie i want up you I want up you. Go ahead. Send us the trailer link from YouTube for the trailer that you guys want to submit. How about that? Like, if it, like, let's just say there's a trailer that they know. This is the trailer that these guys got to watch. Send okay. it to me or Alex. If you can't, if you don't know or like you don't want to look it up, just do what he said. Give us the title. But yeah. Yeah. Any movie, Jay. Any movie. Any movie you want. It could be yeah. 90s, 40s, 30s, 20s. Shitty movies, funny movies, any movies you want us to check out, okay? Trailer wise, and then me and Nate will say if this is if it's watchable or if it's not watchable. But we're gonna call the segment Judgment Time. So we're gonna judge your trailer skills and let us know what trailers are good. So again, AFIG007 for me on Instagram. Nate is Netflix reviews. Send us links or send us your top five. Movies, whatever, horror, you know, drama, comedy, comedy, drama, buddy cop, cop, comedy, <laughs> whatever you want. Comedy. Let us know. Yeah, co comedy, yeah. Um, Again, hit us up on Instagram. Let us know the trailers. And when we come back, we'll have five trailers. We'll all watch together. And we can laugh our asses off and see if the movies are good or not. But I'll tell you this. I saw one trailer and Nate... I did not know this movie really existed. And I'm going to give a freebie. Okay. It's called Titanic 2. Did you see Titanic 2, the trailer? No. Then you know what? That's going to, that's Terrible. not, that's just a freebie. It's a freebie. Okay. Coming back, everyone, I will be showing you guys Titanic 2. When we come back two weeks from now, Titanic 2 is going to be one of the trailers. And then five other trailers. You guys pick. I'll pick the best five out of the group. And we'll have fun with that. So yeah, I'm with, not gonna watch whatever you guys said. No, 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 no. We're not watching it. I'm gonna it. send it to Alex. Yeah, I'm not watching it. Watch. I'm just gonna put the trailers together, and we'll watch it together for the first time. I'm not watching none of the trailers. We're gonna watch it all live together. So Titanic two, do not watch it until we watch it together, and no we'll problem. see what the hell are we watching. So again, next in two weeks. Have fun. Send us lists. AFIG007 again. And, of course, Netflix reviews. Other than that, Nate, you got to say anything before we leave. No, I just want to say again, thank you to everyone who always shows up. A lot of new people tonight. We always appreciate it. Um, we appreciate you guys always participating in the chat. Um, and, again, patreon.com forward slash geeks and flicks if you want to join the Patreon and help us out. Again, shout out to Tony. For, for joining and and everybody else who's always there stephanie rev 4k he's never here in our chat but he's he talks with us behind the scenes no. um ben buster um robert j stephanie beckish uh everybody whoever else if i missed anybody i apologize um and i just want to say uh everybody uh make sure you wear your seatbelt <laughs> and make sure you don't skip breakfast most important meal of the day they have it again the new movie's coming i mean New videos coming out on the channel for you guys are Superman 1978. That is my DC Retro Review dropping on Wednesday. Nate's video on Friday is going to be... Abigail. Abigail. There you go. Abigail. It's going to be Abigail. 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 <laughs> on Saturday or Sunday, whenever Alex gets around to editing it, it will be the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. <laughs> I was trying to sound like the teacher from The Water Boy. Dude, you. Let me just tell you, you sounded exactly like the same era of Abigail. Oh, Abigail. All right, so there you go. Friday is Abigail. 
and yeah. and Saturday will be his next movie. So you're gonna have three videos this week. I'm gonna be working on a package of showing off. I'm gonna be putting together a buyer's guide for the Batman animated uh, animated Batman TV series. This is a limited edition collection. I want to show it off. I want to talk about it and see if this is actually worth the money. So I'll be putting together a package of this. Hopefully, it should be out. I don't know, maybe this week or next week, but it will be out. So again, Superman 1978, Friday, Abigail, Saturday, the new Henry Cavill movie, Guy Ritchie film. Other than that, I'm your host, Ash Figueroa. My co-host is Nate from Netflix Reviews. Have a good night and be awesome to each other and geek out.